We're in a Mark I Spitfire, which is quite unique in the way that we start it. We're checking that the undercarriage is actually selected to the down position, and the Mark I is still running on 12 volts, so it's quite low power really, and you'll notice when we do start that the propeller rotates quite slowly. We're then basically doing a quick left to right check in the cockpit. So down the left here we have the fuses for the electric panel, so we'll just check that all the fuses are good. We try generally to get as much done in the cockpit as we can before we start the engine, because once it's running the aeroplane will warm up quite quickly, and on a hot day you could run out of time before engine start and take off, before the temperatures are going quite critical. So with that, we're then looking at propeller pitch and we want it in the fine position. The throttle will preset at half an inch in the open position. The mixture is in the rich position. And then coming forward, we have magneto switches. Then still coming across the panel, we have the brakes. But we need to check that we've got good brake pressure. We've got 150 pounds per square inch there now, which is great. And what I'll do then is to set the part brake so it'll then hold the aircraft in position. We're then still coming across the panel, we're checking elevator trim, checking that's neutral. We're seeing that we have the undercarriage lights are showing us that the undercarriage is down and locked with greens. We then come across the instrument panel and we're basically setting altimeter at zero, checking that the directional indicator is caged, which is a push button. Further across, we're checking then into engine gauges. So we have fuel, currently, of course, it's sitting at zero pressure at the moment, oil pressure's at zero. We check the fuel quantities, and then temperatures currently. So we're looking at oil temperature out here now is 20 degrees, and the coolant, of course, is the same. Boost is at zero, which is atmospheric pressure. We now prime the engine, so we're going fuel onto the on position, and then we unscrew the primer, and you can hear it load, so it's a plunger type primer and we go for four full plunges of fuel. We put the starter magneto to the on position, we hold the stick back so that the elevator is in the up position to stop the tail starting to rise if the engine was to start quite fiercely. Press the start button, the engine will start turning and once it fires on the starter magneto we then flick the main magnetos to on. It should stabilise at about 900 RPM. The most critical thing that we need at this stage is to check that the oil pressure is rising quite quickly and it should stabilise with cold oil at about 90 pounds per square inch. We then let the aeroplane settle, let the engine settle and we're then looking for a gradual temperature rise to at least above 20 degrees before we start to think about taxiing to the runway.